Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and gas time once again. And, um, and this time around, um, there's gonna be a few moving parts on this, so there might be a couple goops. Um, otherwise, I don't really have a whole lot. So, chances are that this might actually be a short one. And then the music, um, as you can see here, is, uh, Stuart Keller, uh, Bees to Blooms. This came from the, um, the Compu the CompuSynth channel. I can't I can't remember the full name of it, but go ahead and wind this back. And I do need to kind of sound test this. Guessing it should be good where it's at. Yeah, I'm just going to say close it up on that. But, uh, if this starts starting too much like techno, like boom, boom, tsh, boom, 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 tsh, boom, 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 tsh. If it starts sounding, like I said, if it, it's, if it starts sounding too, too dubstep or whatever, I'm going to have to switch to another. I think I can turn it down a little bit, though. Okay, but, um, anyway, to, to start with, I had to go through, and, um, I had to get rid of all the, uh, I think I got rid of most of the, uh, the lo-fi channels, um, lo-fi girl, that channel had to go. I had, to, I had to remove it from my YouTube recommendations. Basically, I did kind of a lo-fi purge. Um, a lo-fi, retro wave, synth wave. I had to kind of do a channel purge on those because I was getting tired of the all these uh, different live stream channels popping up on my YouTube recommendations. You know, I think I've been, I think I've been complaining about this for the for the past few days, but. But yeah, I just, I finally took the plunge and got rid of them all. I mean, now, don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't hate lo-fi music. Not at all. But when, um, when my whole YouTube page is being bombarded with nothing but lo-fi live stream channels, then yeah, you know, I, I kind of need, I kind of need, need a change of scenery. Um, but I was also getting a lot of, uh, a lot of tech, a lot of synth wave as well, retro wave, vapor wave. I was getting a whole bunch of those those live stream channels as well. Um, I had to remove them. I think um, I think there might have been one lo-fi channel that I kept because uh, I think uh, that channel there wasn't bombarding me, wasn't bombarding me with a whole bunch of stuff. So if worst comes to worst, I could probably just go on YouTube and just type down Lo-Fi Girl or Lo-Fi Geek, you know, or something like that. And then just, and just uh, throw on one of their videos. But, uh, but until further notice, they are off my list. I know, I was going to have, um, I was going to have, a. Uh, jazz live streams but all that music as I kind of anticipated is copyrighted so none of that and um there's also uh you guys have might have heard it before on some, on some of my other casts but doom metal still got that so still keeping that sucker So, but uh, once again, to reiterate, I most certainly don't hate the music, but I just don't want to be, bom I don't need my YouTube page bombarded with the stuff, so. And then, um, and I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, um, yesterday, uh, I can't remember the last time I did this, but. 
I did like a five and a half hour stream. Usually my streams last around two to three hours. But, um, I started it like early in the afternoon. I think around noon or one or something like that. Um, just, I got maybe like five hours of sleep, but ended up woken up because of sinus issues. And I've been having that problem too recently. I mean, it's the freaking dead of winter, but it's like, my allergies are going off like it's like it's freaking summer, you know, with, with a poor air quality and high pollen count and all that. So I don't know what the deal is there. So I, you know, tried going back to sleep, wasn't ha wasn't happening. So I figured I might as well just get a stream going, make myself useful. Figuring I'm probably looking beyond maybe two or three hours, or maybe even do like a double header stream, do a stream for you know two or three hours take like a one hour nap, come back and stream for another two or three hours or something like that, but no, um, I just streamed all the way through. I just did my usual, I started with Gems of War, um, I just, I worked on the weekly campaign, did a, I think I managed to complete that, um, it required me to do a whole, or, excuse me, it required me to win a whole bunch of PvP matches, so, that's where I spent most of my time. I think I did a little bit of map farming as well. Um, let's see what else. And then I think a couple, two, three hours after Gems of War, um, I did my usual. I just jumped into Killer Instinct, and um, this time around, I've I've got it all. This time I got the game up and running. I. This is something else I'm probably going to start doing now. Like, instead of trying to explain to people what I did, I, it's probably just going to be easier if I showed you what I did. Okay, whoops. So, I spent a good chunk of my time this time doing a mode called Shadow Lords. Um, it kind of... Oh, it kind of works like the story mode. In Dragon Ball Fighters, it's really hard to explain. Or, oh, I got the game running, Joe. Why not show him? But um, one big drawback I have with this is um, I want to play Hisako. Those that have checked out my other my other casts know this. I want to play Hisako, not Mira, Jago, or Riptor. But unfortunately. These are my options. So, but um, in in this mode here, you can um, you can you can craft items that'll give you buffs, like for your next battle or some like this here. Uh, it'll give you a buff for three turns. And you can um you can also uh you can unlock lore too. Um character lore like like Jago. Jago arrives at the temple. At this place that holds so many powerful memories. Here he learned to train his body and his mind. That's a classic 90s uh outfit right there. Has been put on a crooked path. For the tiger spirit was in the but anyway, I'll yeah, I'll just go ahead and kill it there. Um, the lore, for the most part, is pretty much gonna be is pretty much going in one eye and out the other. I mean, it's kind of cool to collect, you know, pick up and learn a bit, little bit of the story. But it, like I said, it's ultimately just gonna go in one eye and out the other. But yeah, you can you can pick up um. You can pick up story chunks and various characters. You know, and then, um, and then some of these battles, like, and, uh, like, if you look on the left side of the screen where it says, where it says global corruption, 
you know, you have to, you have to keep the purple meter from uh, getting too high up. There, you have to, yeah, you have to prevent the uh, purple meters from going too high up. Otherwise, uh, I'm guessing you have to fight a big boss or something. But, uh, but like I said, um, this mode here, it kind of works like the uh, story mode does in Dragon Ball Fighters. You know, you can you you pick your fighter. Um, in this case here, well, won't be him. So I'd have to I'd have to choose one of these other two. That kind of thing. You you grab her, and then you can pick what kind of consumable item you want. And uh, you all, and you also have the option to uh, just simply send them off. They'll automatically complete the battle for you, but you don't get as much rewards. That's fine because I don't really care to play with any of these. Mission success. But, but anyway, um. That Shadow Lord, so. And, um. One other thing that I also tried doing. And I, by no, me no means. Or, let me rephrase this. It really isn't working out that well. Is, uh. Turning off combo assist. I'll kind of do a little demo on how this works. So that means uh, everything you do, you have to do manually. And it'll probably show here. Yeah, so you have to, uh, like I said, combo assist is turned off. So now in order to start a combo, you have to actually do a special move. So the way it's supposed to work is you do a, a special move, like... So, so there's three, and then after you do those three, um... Dropped it. So, but like I said, with combo assistance turned off, you really got it. It's going to require a lot of finesse. And it also means I'm going to be mangling the shit out of my controller too. Especially the analog stick. So, whoops. Dropped that. So, but like I said, the way it works, now if you jump in with an attack, it does count as an opener. But didn't do no special move after that. But I believe it's called an auto double. Those two attacks after I did the first special, 
Oh, this is a special, by the way. Um, I'm, I'm going down forward. Here, let me do this. I think... Yeah, I'm not a fan of display input. It just... Because all you're going to see is just... Uh, if you see on the left side of the screen... Just uh, little tiny arrows. Yeah, so... Nothing really helpful. Okay, so there's down to forward. There's that move. There's medium. And the big one. So, this is what I do. This is what you can do when it's when it's turned off. Now here's, now here's what you're gonna do oh, wrong one. with combo assist turned on. See all those special moves? Now, all you have to do is uh, hit your opponent while uh, while moving forward, and they'll automatically do a good chunk of the combo for you. said all I'm doing just watch the left side of the screen but see that's all that's all the assistance is doing for me See, I'm pretty much just mashing one button. Now, remember, like I, like I said in one of my other cast videos, um, you can't just... Now, if you look on the left side of the screen, see that, uh, did you see that meter? If it fills all the way up red, it'll cause what's called a blowout, which automatically ends the combo immediately, and you won't, you won't do diddly squat for damage. So, in order to end it, you have to do a, you have to do a heavy special attack. Something like that. Or something like that. So, you kind of get the idea, though. See? I finished the combo with a heavy attack. So, I, that, that's how combos work, but like a... But like I said, um, I actually tried doing it without with the assist turned off. It's kind of doable, but it's going to require a ton of practice. Personally, I will just as soon as have uh, have the assistance turned on, because because again, it's it doesn't give it doesn't it doesn't auto automatically mean you're going to do no 100% damage combos or anything like that.
See? See, I just blow it out, 19%. Forty-four percent. That's because I finished it with a heavy attack. So, but anyway, that's um, that's pretty much what I did during the um, during the Killer Instinct part of my stream. So, let me go ahead and back out of this, and then just like I did with this game, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up um. I'm just going to go ahead and pull up FX3. So just give me a moment. Hang on, I got to kill that. I got to shut that off. So, let me, uh, let me fire up Pinball FX3. And once again, it this is... It's just going to be easier for me to show you than tell you. And, um... Come on. Let me kill the music. There's not really going to be much point in having... Okay. Almost up. That's right. So, no. So anyway, for um, then I only played, I only played this in Pinball Arcade for a short time, because by the time after like the the four and a half hour mark, I was pretty much out of it. So, this week, Fear itself, um. This is gonna be the big table right here. No, I'm I'm not gonna play yeah, the. It's I'm not. Jesus Christ. 103 million. But yeah, there. There there is a way to there is a way to get that score though. But uh, for this week, it's all about this table. Scott, he awakens. What what do you so what's, what do you do? Well, to start with, see the two green flashing targets, hit them both, oh, gotta hit the flashing one, nope, but I'll kind of show you here, if I can even do it, nope, again, hitting that little green flashing target, that big hole and then you choose anger or anger and then your goal we must not you just gotta you gotta aim for the bumpers or even better yet just let the ball drain this is a three minute timer That's what you do. So, like I said, this week's league, it's pretty much all about that table. Try to rack up as huge of a score as you can. You gotta keep it up in the bumpers as much as possible. So, but unfortunately, like I said, like I said earlier, a lot of other people also know of the strategy. That's why, that's why you gotta, you have to be the score of 99 million. So. And then the rest of the tables don't matter. So. But anyway. Um. I was only on that. I was only on that table. Or I was only on FX3 and Arcade for maybe like. 
a half hour, 45 minutes maybe. So, but yeah, anyway, um, but as far as overall for the pinball session, for the short amount of time that I was on, I did okay. I mean, I mean, I didn't do, I didn't do terribly, but I didn't, or I didn't do super terrible, but I wasn't exactly spectacular either. So, but like I said, I was, by the time I actually got to pinball, I was pretty much out of it. So and plus, uh, I still had a, I still had grocery shopping and I had to take, had to get taken care of too. So I was gonna have to break off at some point. Um, but otherwise, um, that's gonna do it. Um, I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say this morning. So. I'll go ahead and call it good. And thanks for uh, thanks for thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And this will be my last cast for the week. So my work week has started up uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So you won't be hearing from me again until probably Sunday morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.